Okay, thanks for taking part in this pilot of the role play simulation. Uh, what we're going to do is run for a simple role play. L let me just take you around and show you what's in the environment. On the left here, you can see a screen blue with a lot of boxes on, and that describes the process we're going to follow. If you need to get closer to read it, please do. Uh, we're, we're going to be using a role play based on a template called Depolarizer. And it's a very simple role play. So the steps are starting top left hand corner. The first step we're on is where we're all going to meet each other. And then we'll move on to each block as we work our way through. And I will control that process. Over here in front you can see two yellow boxes. And uh, the these describe the issue we're going to be looking at. And today we're looking at the issue of banning smoking in public places. So there's a statement panel which gives some uh, uh, a basic statement about uh, the issue about banning smoking and then on the left there's a description panel which gives a little bit more information about uh, about this policy. Underneath that there are a number of links which you can click on which will load your browser with some extra information about information relevant to this policy issue. Okay, so let's move on to the first step, which is the icebreaker vote. And you'll see on the floor, we now have a, the carpets changed. And also the box at the back on the blue uh, wall has changed to show we're at the icebreaker vote stage. So uh, this this floor panel is actually a voting. So if you could vote, what you'll need to do is stand on the carpet, and one is extremely pessimistic, and nine is extremely optimistic, and the numbers in between are varying between those two points. So you need to be on the carpet to vote, and when you're on the carpet, you'll see a button at the top of the screen which says "Push to Vote." and you need to push that and then your stake will be in the ground. You only get one vote but you can change your mind. If you want to go go to another end of the carpet and vote again you can do that. So can I ask you all now to vote where you predict what you think the general uh, public opinion would have been on this issue about banning smoking in public places, whether it would increase the health of the nation. So what we can do now is compare you, what your prediction is to how people actually voted on this issue. So I will, what I'll do is step on to the next stage. Oh, here we go. Now, if you if you see a graph appeared in front of you over here, and as you can see, the vast majority were you around the seven mark, and I think one was on six and one was on eight. So you can see we've dynamically generated the results from the the vote and they're now appearing in the world. Okay what I'll do now is move us on to the next step which is where we'll sign the roles for the role play itself. So I'm going to move us on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just assign you to either a pos optimist or a pessimist and what you should do you'll receive a message in your text chat area, area telling you which role you've been assigned to. So I'm just going to do this randomly. Okay, I've now assigned the roles, so hopefully you should have received a message stating which role you've got, and I think you have to click on the place marks uh, menu. As you can see, you should be standing in front of uh, a white screen. One of them is for the optimist instructions, and one is for the pessimist. And in a moment, you'll prepare three statements from the point of view of whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. You can read those statements in front of you to just check you understand it and then when you're ready uh, I will then move us on to the next stage where you'll prepare your statements and you'll want you to create three statements on the wall that you'll see behind you. Let's look at preparing the statements and if you turn around behind you you can now see a, a statement wall and what you do need to do is come over to the wall and click the add statement button at the bottom. 
So if that's clear, you should now, from either your optimistic or pessimistic point of view, uh, add three statements to the wall. Yeah. The next step is where we will get an opportunity to read these out and we can discuss them. So let's take on to that. And be in better shape. Smoking makes you unfit for running and can even prevent you from doing regular exercise. Um, so when you smoke, um, Everything in your body, especially your lungs, starts to be in worse shape. So you can't run as fast, you can't do exercise as fast, you can't do that much actually. So in order to do your regular exercises, you kind of not need to smoke for at least two, three days. Then I think we've covered pretty much all of them. Please shout if I haven't. What we need to do now is you have an opportunity to vote uh, on what you think are the most important of these statements. Okay, so I've now moved us onto that stage and you can see under each post it there should be a mark button which you can tick. So uh, you have three votes each. I'd like to ask you all to vote now on your three most important. So how are we doing? Has everybody voted? Yeah, okay, good. I'll uh, move us on to the next stage where we can just have a quick discussion about that. Right. So the highest smoking gives you cancer. Uh, banning smoking will prevent people getting cancer seems to be the most important statement. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what we will do now is go to the carpet again and this time ask you to vote but from your personal point of view so if you can follow me over to the carpet so as before you get to vote you'll notice the instructions are slightly changed for the final vote on the white panel above the carpet and I'd like you to give your personal point of view uh, about the issue of banning smoking Okay, so we've got five votes there. It's interesting, I'm a bit more spread out this time. Okay, so if I click on the end simulation, so now you can see here's a breakdown of the the final vote. And actually, it's, it's very interesting, it's very spread out but compared to the prediction vote, which is on your far left. Okay, that brings us really to the end of the uh, session. So thank you very much for taking part.